For USCFootball.com, I'm Keely Orr here with redshirt junior wide receiver Jalen Green. So, start of fall camp, how's it been going so far? Uh, it's been going really well, you know, getting all the rust off and, you know, just getting back to the action and having some real fun. Yeah, no pads so far. Does that help getting the ru rust off? Uh, definitely. You know, you don't have that extra 10, 50 pounds on your back, but, you know, it's all going to help. It's all going to be, uh, you know, a great experience and great getting back out there. How would you describe the tone of the team so far? It seems like there's a calm competitiveness out there. Man, I would say just fast. You know, like we have a lot of veterans and a lot of young guys. With the, young, the good thing about the young guys, you know, they're just so ready to just soak up as much knowledge and information as they can. And they're just ready to play fast. Like they're already great athletes to begin with. So, you know, just getting them mentally prepared is just is, is so easy because they're all ready to learn. Is this the most eager young guys you've seen so far since your time here? Um, you know, I wouldn't say the most because, you know, definitely my class, we were, e <laughs> we were eager to learn and everything. But, uh, you know, I just think, you know, coming off a Rose Bowl win, there's a lot to teach these guys, you know, and then especially with veterans coming back and just being able to be around guys, you know, who, who've played the game and who have excelled at their game, you know. So it's, it's really, they have a lot of help behind them. Who's been standing out to you so far as far as young guys go? Mm, just because I've been around them so much, I would say Justin Lewis and Randall Grimes, you know, those guys are, like I said, they learn very fast, you know, and uh, I, I definitely I see, like, you know, the numbers that they're wearing aren't too big for them. So, you know, those guys are, you know, good in the meeting room, good outside the meeting room. They're just great guys. What's it like for you as a mentor now? Um, it's really humbling, you know, because, you know, as they always say, the teacher learns best. So I find little things that, you know, I learn about myself, you know, while teaching them. So it's, it's, it's really good to, it's really humbling, you know, just to coach those guys up and just see where, where I fall as well. Yeah, where do you think you fall in this re receiver group? Um, I would just say, you know, just got to bring it every play. You know, you can't take a play off, and that's one thing I, I stress a lot uh, to Randall and Joe. You know, you're going to make a mistake, so don't let that mistake, you know, dictate how you how you follow up the next rep. So you got to move on and just, you know, get better. You've been patient in your time here, first at quarterback, now at wide receiver. How does it feel that now you have a shot, an open shot in your grab? Uh, you know, it's a, it's a blessing. You know, it's just it's right there for my grab, and I just have to, you know, hold on to it and just keep, like I said, keep working every day. You know, I'm a, I already know I might have a bad day or a bad rep, but I can't let that rep dictate, you know, how I move on in the future. You mentioned the Rose Bowl. What's it like coming off of that win? Is it? I think people are are putting so much expectation on the team. How does the team handle that? Honestly, I think our expectations are bigger than any expectation anybody can put on us. You know, um, you know the Rose Bowl one was very good, but I think we we moved past that a week after we you know won the Rose Bowl. We were back in school the next week, so you know it was short lived. It was a great victory. It was an extremely great game, but you know we want better and we want to achieve better. So we we set the bar for ourselves last year, and we're just going to set it up higher and higher. Where is the bar set this year? Oh, uh, you know, nowhere but the top. You know, we want to be nothing but the best. So that's all we strive for each and every day. Uh, the players have been saying that Helton keeps you guys calm and collected and not getting too far ahead of yourselves. What is he like as a coach? Uh, he's extremely great. You know, he before anything, before he being a coach, you know, he's just a great person. You know, he cares about you. He cares about your family. He cares about you as a man, you know, and he just wants to develop you as a man first before he can develop, you know, as an athlete. So I think that's one thing he does very well as a coach and as just a man. He connects with guys on, you know, just a personal level. He doesn't really, he doesn't express to you that it's just about football or just about what you do on the field. You know, he wants to make sure you're a great man once you leave here and as your time being here. You've been around here for a while. What's it like having a coach that's like that? Just like I said, it's a blessing, you know, not you don't come across very many people that are like that, that are genuinely care about you and care about, you know, your character and how you build as a man. And, you know, you come here at 18, 17 years old, you know, you're kind of lost or you're you kind of think you already have an idea about the world. But, you know, he just steps in and just, you know, mentors you, walks you along, holds you by the hand and just, you know, he won't don't get me wrong. He won't like um, pat you on the back if you're doing things wrong. But, like he'll definitely let you know. But he, he he's a great man and he, and he takes real good care of us. Yeah. Speaking of growth, how do you think you've grown since your time here? Um, Tremendously, you know, I. You know, I manage my time better. I, I, I set my priorities straight. I, um, you know, just really what's important to me and what's important for the success of the team and myself. You know, I just set that first and, you know, take care of my family and everything else. What would be your goals for this season, personally? Personally, um, just do the best I can every single day. You know, I think that's all I can do. That's all I can do. Just keep my faith, give it up to God, and just be the best, be the best Jalen I can every day. All right, well, good luck this season. Thank you. With Jalen Green, I'm Keely Orr. For more, check out uscfootball.com.